What's up, Metalheads? I'm Jamie. This is the Blades and EDC channel. Thank you guys so much for being here. I really do appreciate it. Guess who's back? Uh, feeling a little better. Getting my voice back. Uh, mostly back. Uh, throat's still a little sore, but, um, you know, uh, gotta get back to making these videos. So, thank you guys for, for being here. I really do appreciate it. And uh, this is a video I was planning on making Saturday before I lost my voice. And if you saw... Uh, the thumbnail for the video I put up uh, letting you guys know that there weren't going to be any videos for a few days because I'd lost my voice. That thumbnail will make sense to you now. These are the three knives that I think were the best bang for your buck in 2022. Uh, what you got for what it cost. Um, and it's hard to argue with these in my opinion. Now granted there are budget knives you can get that are you know G10 or some other material and you know, 14C or D2. Those are great knives too. But these are more, not quite premium, but they have a very premium feel to them, but they don't come at a very premium cost. They are all over $100. But, um, you know, for what you're getting, I think it's a very fair, fair deal. And um, you couldn't go wrong with any of these three. So up first is the Asher Spiro uh, with a whole S35BN blade still titanium frame lock uh does have a steel pocket clip i'm pretty sure yes steel pocket clip still i can't i'm not sure if the hardware is still or not because i thought i saw pictures i think the pivot ring is uh titanium because i thought i saw one of the blue pivot ring uh but maybe it was anodized blue but uh either way titanium frame lock s35 v and blade still fantastic action fantastic ergos thin and slicey these were about 125 dollars i'm sure there will be more i didn't get one this one's not mine this is craig's um wish i would have got one uh we'll get one in the future uh a big fan of this knife um and out of the three that i think are uh best bang for your buck this one is number three on the list and uh 100 i think it's 125 130 dollars somewhere in that range but for what you're getting for that price I mean, you can't argue with it, especially with the action that goes along with it. The detent's fantastic. It really is. I can't thumb flick this one very good, but the reverse flick is where it's at. So uh, that's number three. All right, let's go on to number two. Number two. And this one, just so you guys know, will be in the next knife cell. The Max Ace Knives Black Mirror, uh, M390 blade still, titanium frame lock, titanium pocket clip, titanium backspacer. This one is full premium and was about $148 when it came out. I have heard that some sites are raising the prices on these, uh, like Blade HQ. As far as I know, White Mountain Knives has not raised their price, but they are out of stock. These are out of stock everywhere. They sold uh, pretty, pretty quickly and uh, great action. Great ergos, um, premium materials, good looking knife. It reminds me of like a small Spidey Chef. Um, really good detent. Excellent access to that lock bar. You can't ask for more than that. And it's chamfered on the inside. Feels really good. Everything about this knife feels good in hand. Feels premium in hand. And I know $148 isn't cheap, but considering what some other titanium frame locks with M390 out there are selling for, this is a great bargain it really is a great bargain um there are some other options with like carbon fiber inlays and stuff like that i really do like this one though with this anodized titanium pivot collars and uh, backspacer and pocket clip i think it looks really really good and if you you could always change that color if you didn't like it and go with a different color to anodize but i think that brass almost a brass let's we'll say that's like a 70 volt finish 80 volt finish uh i think it looks really good in this knife and a uh, big fan of this one big fan of this one and uh, for you channel members out there keep an eye out for a video about this just dropping a hint there dropping a little hint all right and that's number two you guys have probably already figured out which one i think is the best one best bang of the buck bang for your buck of the year number one and it probably has the most uh it does have the most uh basic I guess you would say uh, blade steel with 14C 28N. This is the Bridgeport 395 titanium frame lock or liner lock with 14C 28N with a steel liner and um, titanium pocket clip. These were on the pre-order I think 110, 128 when they dropped. Um, 
OEM by uh, Kubi. This one's OEM by uh, Kunwu, by the way. I'm pretty sure Max Ace makes their own knives, but don't quote me on that. This one has the best detent of the three, the best action of the three. It's just so good. It's really, really good. Thanks to my buddy Julio, I ended up with one of these because uh, I missed the pre-order on these. And then I tried to get one to drop and missed the drop too. But uh, thanks to Julio, he bought two and I ended up with one of them. I really do appreciate it, Julio. You are the man. Um, just a super good knife, man. Super good. These, these, these three knives have me questioning what questioning the prices of other knives using similar materials, right? Um, you know, there's some of these knives out here that are just through the roof in price. And yeah, maybe Best Tech does a little better. React definitely does better. But is it three times better than this? I don't think it is. At least definitely not with Best Tech. Uh, React is, I'm going to go ahead and say React's on another level. Um, but, you know, this is so good. You'd have to handle a lot of knives to even, you know, this is not going to, no one's going to be disappointed with this knife. I haven't heard a single person say they had any issues with this knife or it disappointed them in any way. It's just fantastic. It's become one of my favorite knives for sure. Perfect size for me. Uh, and then you get the, ch the choil to choke upon. The jimping's done to perfection. Perfect jimping. Fine jimping, very grippy. Works like jimping should work. Everyone should use this kind of jimping. I don't know why they don't. Um, great knife. Fantastic knife. I'm really excited to see what Bridgeport does in the future. This is their first knife. And uh, really excited to see what's next for them. I probably will be doing some anodizing to this knife. Haven't decided what I'm going to do yet. I'm thinking about doing the pivot, the uh, pocket clip filler, and the pocket clip, and the hardware, the screws. Just doing them one color. Probably not going to go with purple. Um, maybe go with a different color. I've done a lot of purple lately. So, uh. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do. What do you guys think? I, I really like the way this gold looks on here. You know, it looks really good. But that's a darker finish on that titanium. So, um, yeah, great knives, man. I'm really excited to see what comes in 2023. Unfortunately, I tried to get the new Devo Mash. I set an alarm. I was there five minutes before the drop. Had it in my, I was at work, so I'm on my phone. Had it in my cart. Go to checkout. Type in my information. By the time I click checkout, I get a little red thing that says sold out. I'm like, oh man, broke my heart because I really wanted to Devo Mash, but oh well, it is what it is because that's another one that's right here in this price category using these kinds of materials. I hope we see a lot more of this in 2023. They sell out instantly. Um, this one's more, you know, this is a premium knife to a lot of us, right? Um, budget knife is $30. This is premium, but you know, Compared to a $300 knife, I'm just fine with this, man. Make more in this price range using these kinds of materials, and uh, they're going to sell very well, in my opinion. So as we've already seen, they're selling out instantly. As quickly as they are dropping, they're gone. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Comment below, what do you think was the best bang for your buck of 2022 for you? I'd love to hear your thoughts on that, and I'll see you guys on the next one.